kindergarten dreams, an ugly divorce from Sandra Bullock's ex, and a Blink-182 reunion. Here's what happened to the nurse from Blink-182's most famous album cover. Janine Lindelmulder quickly became known as the nurse on the cover of Blink-182's Enema of the State album cover and for starring in the band's What's My Age Again music video. But Linda Mulder had already been working as an adult actress and model for over a decade before she worked with the band. According to The Wrap, Linda Mulder found her way into modeling through an ad and made her modeling debut for Penthouse magazine in 1987 as the pet of the month. In 1988, she starred in Moving Target with Linda Blair and appeared in several more films in the late 1980s. Besides her career in the adult film industry, Linda Mulder was once an exotic dancer and she returned to Hollywood for an appearance in the 1997 Howard Stern film, Private Parts. After helping to create the iconic artwork for Blink-182's Enema of the State album cover in 1999, Linda Mulder announced a major career change. According to Life & Style, the model said she was stepping away from the adult film industry to pursue her dream of being a kindergarten teacher. She also mentioned that she wanted to focus on raising her son. However, 1999 ended up being incredibly eventful for the star who found herself in a sex tape alongside Motley Crue rocker Vince Neil, per Ultimate Classic Rock. In 2002, Linda Mulder tied the knot with West Coast Choppers founder Jesse James, and the pair had a daughter, Sunny, together. However, the marriage was brief, and James accused Linda Mulder of domestic abuse, per Life & Style. James also filed a temporary restraining order against his ex, who landed in prison for the alleged assault. The pair eventually divorced in 2004, but their legal battles were far from over. In 2008, Linda Mulder was sentenced to six months in prison for tax evasion, per the Los Angeles Times. Jesse James and his then-wife Sandra Bullock reportedly raised Sonny while Linda Mulder was locked up. Following her release from prison, a custody battle ignited between the model and her ex-husband. In 2009, Linda Mulder told ABC News, What would give Bullock the right to take away my daughter? You know, this is my daughter. I'm the best mother I can be. I've absolutely made horrific choices in the, in the past." However, James alleged that Linda Mulder was an unfit parent who was unable to financially provide for their daughter. As reported by TMZ, James presented emails in which Linda Mulder allegedly admitted to using drugs and engaging in sex work. To make matters more complicated, James and Bullock divorced in 2010. Following the split, James and Sonny moved to Austin, Texas. In court documents, Linda Mulder revealed that the move negatively affected her relationship with her young daughter, who was then just six years old. However, James received full custody of Sonny, and Linda Mulder was reportedly arrested twice in 2011 for harassing her ex-husband. Linda Mulder appears to have publicly stayed out of trouble since her 2011 arrests, but it's unknown whether she currently has a relationship with her daughter Sonny. As for Sonny's former stepmother, Bullock, it would seem that the pair has drifted apart. In 2011, Us Weekly reported that Sonny and Sandra Bullock no longer spoke to each other at all. Of this, Linda Mulder said, I don't bear any grudges against Sandra she has her own son to raise. After getting out of prison, Linda Mulder moved to the Oregon coast and seems to be doing well. According to her Twitter page, the model is active on OnlyFans, a social media site on which users can sell adult content via a subscription. In 2022, the San Diego Reader reported that Blink-182 is planning to put Linda Mulder on the cover of their latest unnamed album. This news came days after the band announced their reunion. Drummer Travis Barker explained, per the San Diego Reader, that, combined with Hoppus's health scare, got us thinking about nurse Janine Lindemulder from Enema of the State. We looked her up, and it turns out she's still doing her thing, just like we're still doing ours. Putting her on the cover of our latest just made sense. It looks as though nurse Janine is about to make a comeback. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website, 